For people interested in innovation, what, what opportunity lies within the vast confines of the Affordable Care Act? Yeah, well, that, that's a great question. Uh, and I haven't read all 2,700 pages, but I'll go back to what I said a couple minutes ago. I think no outcome, no income. So for all the innovators out there, if you could help the provider community to achieve a greater outcome, a better value for the dollars spent by everybody, individuals, individual consumers, employers, and of course Uncle Sam. If we could achieve a greater outcome, a greater value, well then I think we'll be able to keep the system moving in the right direction and we'll deserve to get that payment. But privately, I think Medicare, the notion of a shared savings like under an accountable care organization, I just don't see how that's going to work because today Medicare's view of shared savings, let's say that's X. And next year it's going to be X minus Y, and the year after that it's going to be X minus Y minus Z. Meaning, every year Medicare's going to decide what their shared savings is going to be. I mean, that's a hell of a way to run a business. So for the innovators, you have to focus, in my opinion, on helping providers to do a better job. Let's achieve value, help me to sanitize a hospital room so I reduce my C. difficile load. Help me to give doctors better information about their own practice. Help me to coordinate care in the community. Help me with compliance and adherence programs for all the great drugs in our armamentarium, which we know 50% of people walk out of my office unable to repeat the instructions I gave them 30 seconds ago. So you help me with communication, compliance, reducing error, sterilize my room, make me wash my hands. All of that is ripe for innovation.